Hi there, Leo. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have the Fool. Five of Pentacles. Tower. Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups. Five of Cups. All right, so your person's trying to get organized here. I could see the way these cards are coming out. They're all like in disarray here. Like things are getting shaken up here. This Tower Energy, Fives, Five of Pentacles. Five of cup energy. We've got some sevens here. Seven of wands, seven of cup. Things are like getting like shaken up in order to be rearranged is what I'm getting here. There's a lot on your person's plate right now. They're trying to clear that out. You know, what they're wanting, you know, they're they're what they're most desiring right now is king of pentacles and their current energy is fool. So I feel like they have to clear their plate before they can refill it. And they have to figure out, you know, like what what to clear and then what to fill it with is what I'm getting here. Nine of Cups is what they're offering you. So I feel like, you know, you are definitely a part of your person's world here. They think about you a lot. They think about all the, the um, things that you can do together, places you could go. Um, there's something about... You know, wanting to, um, you know, make you an offer that's solid, like sound, like um, offer you, they want to offer it all to you here, but they have to clear out, they have to clear out a lot of old baggage first. You know, you don't want them to um, come to you with, um, you know, ties that bind them to you know, something else here. They got to fully leave that behind, their baggage. They have to empty out their suitcase, um, you know, before they approach you here. Now, I feel like that's what they're de they're dealing with. They're dealing with clearing the way here, you know, so there's no obstacles in the way for the two of you. Um, let's, let's clarify here this Fool energy, person's current energy is fool. Yeah, hangman. It's like they're they're figuring out what stays and what goes. You know, there's there's big changes happening here uh, for your person in this relationship. They're sorting some things out. Uh, you know, there's quite a few cups here. Uh, they're offering you nine of cups with the action they're taking is seven of cups. Like they have to sort some things out here. This is like, a, this is a turning point here. What spirit most wants us to know is the five of cups. It's like they miss you. They want to return to you, but they've got to deal with their current issues. They have to close out, completely close out and clear their their past or their their present situation or their their whatever their whatever is on their plate right now. It's like they got a lot on their plate that has to be cleared before they can come forth. Um, you know, I, I've, I've used before I think the analogy of the suitcase. Like when you go on vacation you know, you fill your, you, you come home from vacation, um, you know, usually you've got, you know, your, your dirty clothes in there, you know, and when you get home, you have to empty that out before you go on your next vacation. You don't go on the next vacation with the dirty clothes from the last vacation. It's like they're, they got a lot of, um, issues to deal with right now in their current situation, you know, where they were, where they are. Um, has to be, um, I'm hearing like taken care of, or and when I say taken care of, I mean like figure out what stays, what goes, because they're, there's, they can't return to you without dealing with their current situation. They got to leave, fully leave their current situation behind before they can, uh, move forward. And they got a lot of, um, 
it feels like there's quite a few obstacles and things to deal with, you know, so they can't, and you don't want them to come forward too soon, you know, because if they come to you too soon without dealing with their issues, then you're going to have to go back and deal with those issues. And we don't want that. We want, you know, we want a clean slate. We want to, you know, empty out all the baggage, a clean suitcase, um, you know, so then we can fill it with fresh clothes for our next adventure here, our next travel adventure here. Queen of Wands, yeah, once your person clears out um, the old, they'll be able to begin the new here, and they'll be able to create something new here, but your person right now is in the process of clearing the way, Tower of Seven of Wands, you know, there's some obstacles in the way, there's some opposition, there's some things that your person is dealing with first and it's working here this tower is clearing out yeah it's clearing out all this bullshit there's some things that yeah there's some i don't know i'm hearing the word toxic could be i don't know what i mean i know what toxic means but some things that need to be removed here let go of left behind i feel like it's like opposition it's things that are draining things that are not fulfilling things that are cold things that are negative things, those type of things, like let's let go of old patterns that haven't borne fruit, things that no longer bring joy to you and your person's world here. That's what your person is dealing with here. Two of swords, yeah, and they can't move, nor do you want them to move before they deal with that, you know, and I feel like you know, maybe they took quite a while to deal with it. And now, now they have to, they're kind of forced to, they can't, um, they can't hide behind, um, they can't hide behind this or something. They can't come forth without dealing with it. So if there's like a, like a holding pattern, they're sorting out what stays and what goes here. Um, they're dealing with it here. It's, it's, it's a process is what I'm getting. But what they do want is this King of Pentacles. They want to be able to begin anew from a fresh perspective here on solid ground. Um, yeah, temperance. They got to, they want to come to you healed fresh and new temperance is from a healed perspective a balanced perspective a new perspective mixing keeping the right elements and mixing them together and leaving the rest behind here your person is offering you nine of cups so they do want to be with you. They do want to make your wishes come true. They want to, you know, make their own wishes come true. They want to discuss, you know, and, and um, you know, collectively, independently and collectively uh, share your dreams and, and, and visions for the future. You know, what are, what are your wishes? What are my wishes? How can we manifest those things together? How can we work together here? But it's going to take a, a minute here um, you know, there's some holding pattern here. We got to just wait until I know, you know, sometimes they say, wait, it's like, well, but mm, you know, you're better off waiting for something solid, prosperous and healed than rushing and getting something that's not good. You know what I mean? That's not completed. You know, that's again, like taking dirty clothes on a new vacation. Like we don't want that. You want everything to be settled here. So your person is dealing with a lot here and they, they got to figure out what stays and what goes before they can move forward here. Yeah. This ace of wands is that fresh start. They want to offer you they they're offering you nine of cups for a sword so they want that wish fulfillment they want to you know settle down with you but they have to come in a um a relax come towards you uh relaxed and sure like not not with old baggage with old attachments they got to clear that out and then but they got to also figure out what you know what that is what do they need to let go of what do they hold on to uh, and this five of cups you know five of cups 
That's what spirit most wants us to know. So first and foremost, fives are about change. So your person is making these changes. They're doing it properly here. The universe is also helping them, guide them to say, okay, you know, this devil energy, let's clear that out. That type of energy, that five of pentacles, these things don't belong. You know, the seven of wands, you know, the, these these obstacles, people, places, and things that, um, you know, um, don't provide uh, well-being. You know, there are certain people and places and things that will drain our energy. And there are certain people, places, and things that excite us, that, that renew our energy, that feel right, that feel um, balanced and healed and prosperous. And your person is at the cusp of this change here, you know, five of cups is a turning point, you know, uh, in the traditional decks, there's usually like three spilled cups uh, and two upright full cups, you know, and it's a turning point. All that needs to happen is to, you know, turn around, um, leave the spilled cups behind and grab hold of the full cups here. And in this particular five of cups, these, these, there's, Things are lining up. We are in alignment with, you know, these changes here. What needs to be cleared is being cleared and what stays, uh, stays here. You know, this particular five of cups, she's actually, she looks like she has a smile on her face. Like she's happy she's doing this work. She's happy about these changes. You know, she's doing the work. It may take a minute because, you know, she wants to do it properly. She wants to make sure she's getting rid of, the things that need to be getting gotten rid of, you know, baggage that's heavy, and then just keep, keep, you know, the good things. Yes, then we move forward. Then it's go time. Then we begin here. Look at this. Page of Wands. Yeah. Three of sword. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. They got to kind of, you know, letting go of that old stuff sometimes um, is, is challenging, uh, but your person is doing the work. They're doing the work. They're getting there. Let's pull, let's um, cut this here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You know, they got to get through this difficult time in order to begin here. You know, be emotionally fulfilled, balanced, guided into creating things that are fulfilling is what I'm getting. All right, let's close with some words of wisdom from uh, the Ganesh Oracle. We have energetic movement. See, and then it's a number five. So fives for me are about changes. Look at, and this eight of cups, look at how this, all right, so when I move this deck, these two cards revealed themselves. The eight of cup and the four of cups. It's like walking away from things that are not fulfilling and walking towards a new fulfilling beginning here. And again, the energetic movement there, number five, things are changing. Whether we see the change or not, your person is making, making the proper changes. Okay, so it says here, be focused on your highest goals and intentions in your day-to-day -day activities to create real transformation. Ganesh dancing represents a very focused kind of motion and activity. You are in a phase of development and change. Ganesh is showing you that you have the option and breathing space to move forward with your plans and activities once again. Peace be with you. Bye now.